undetected footprint, we are talking about 23-year-old Gataya Aguilar. She's a Fort Campbell soldier who was found in her home on May 18th of 2024 with 70 stab wounds. No arrests been made in her case. She was found in her home in Tennessee near the Army Post. She had 68 stab wounds to her neck and upper body. They ruled her death as a homicide as a result of a sharp forced injury of the neck. I would hope so, because you surely can't do that to yourself. She is from Mesquite, Texas. She enlisted in the Army in 2018, and a year later came to Fort Campbell on the Tennessee-Kentucky border. Her family and the League of United Latin American Citizens have offered a reward of $55,000 for information leading to an arrest and a conviction. She leaves behind a four-year-old son. That is a horrific way for someone to die. That's also known as overkill. And that is usually done by someone personal vendetta against a person. Up next, from CBS News, they are speaking about her case. Let's take a look. What we know is that we're learning new information about the death of a Mesquite soldier found murdered in her home near Fort Campbell, Kentucky, back in May. Katia Duenas Aguilar was just 23 years old. Lauren Crawford joining us live in studio now this morning to break down what is some disturbing new details? Hey, good morning, Madison. That's right. According to an autopsy report, Katia Aguilar was from Mesquite and died after she was stabbed nearly 70 times. The Montgomery County Medical Examiner's Office says she suffered stab wounds to her neck and upper body. Private First Class Katia Aguilar from Mesquite enlisted in the Army in 2018. She had a four-year-old son and was stationed at Fort Campbell on the Tennessee-Kentucky border and was also a member of the 101st Combat Aviation Brigade and 101st Airborne Division. Before Aguilar died, she had recently told her family she was planning on leaving the Army. She would already tell me that she's not happy over there, and I wanted her to come back so we could make more memories. We want to believe that it's a nightmare, that we can wake up and she will still be there. Now, her family went on to tell us that she decided to stay after she spoke with an Army counselor. Clarksville police say that no arrests have been made in connection to her death. Her family and League of United Latin American Citizens have offered a reward of $55,000 for any information leading to an arrest. Army criminal investigators, we've also learned this morning, are helping assist the investigation. Guys, back to you. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. I mean, when you hear of a story like this, uh, a situation involving mm -hmm. someone being stabbed 70 times, uh, and then you add the component that Lauren mentioned of her leaving behind a four-year-old son. I mean, that is why folks are trying to find answers to solve that murder case. Well, you remind back, I mean, being stabbed in general, be being stabbed 70 times, that tells mm -hmm. me um, and all of us that this was intentional, mm -hmm. absolutely, and, and it was, in fact, a hate crime. Mm -hmm. But then, too, we're moms. We get it. Um, could you imagine having to leave behind just your four-year-old son? Yeah. I mean, it's unspeakable. Let's hope and pray that her family can find out who did this to her and get the justice they are looking for. And the person can be put behind bars. This was an evil person who took her life. She had her whole life ahead of her. And now her four-year-old son has to grow up without a mother.